The following question reads that R and S react together and there is an equilibrium reaction given and he's asking which factors affect the rate of the forward reaction. Now remember that uh, the question is about rate, it's not about equilibrium. So uh, never confuse the two terms. Uh, we are talking about rate over here only. So uh, what determines the rate of the forward direction? Uh, we're not talking about equilibrium, we're not talking about whether forward reaction is going to be favored or whether the reverse reaction is going to be favored. It's not an equilibrium question. So the rate of the reaction is going to be affected by the activation energy of the reaction because the lower the activation energy of a, re of a reaction, the faster the reaction is going to be. So this is going to be a factor. So activation energy is one major factor in determining a rate. Uh, you can reduce activation energy by adding a catalyst. Uh, the other things that you could do is, uh, for rate, is you can either increase pressure, the particles would be closer together, you can increase concentration, or you can uh, uh, you can reduce the particle size. Uh, or inc uh, So all these factors affect the rate of the reaction. The second factor is not going to determine rate. The enthalpy change of a reaction uh, does not determine rate. It's always the actuation energy or the energy that is needed initially. The enthalpy change of the reaction is never a factor in determining rate. So to stress this point further, I have this image in front of me, the reactants and the products. The enthalpy change is the overall energy change which is going to be, uh, which in this case is this. It's the overall energy change or the difference in energy between products and reactants. So this is the enthalpy change delta H. And this is not a factor because uh, because basically the, the reason why reactions are slow or fast is that initially energy is needed for bond breaking. So initially there's going to be some amount of energy that would be needed which is called activation energy because you have to you have to get rid of the old bonds first and then new bonds would be formed and energy would be released. Now if breaking old bonds requires a lot of energy the reaction is going to be very it's going to be very very slow. So this over here shows if the activation energy is uh, is uh, is a lot then that's a slow reaction if the activation energy is lower that's a fast reaction the overall enthalpy change uh, plays little factor in terms of the rate of the reaction so it's always the activation energy the initial energy that is needed to start a reaction so enthalpy change of the reaction is not a factor in this case and similarly, the equilibrium constant of the reaction, the equilibrium constant only determines whether more products are going to be formed or whether more reactants would be formed. The equilibrium constant doesn't, it's the ratio of the products and the reactants. It doesn't determine the rate at which the forward reaction is happening or the rate at which the backward reaction is happening. So equilibrium constants uh, have, no, have no relationship with rate. So the next two statements are incorrect, so only option one is going to be the correct statement. That only determines the rate of the reaction. So according to the marking key, uh, this would be option D, because only one is correct.